What's up guys, Tim Halster with Drag Boss Garage. You see that logo? Design Performance Race Engines? Yeah, that's Daniel Campbell's rat rod, it looks like. It looks pretty nasty with those zoomy pipes. He and his father work or own Design Performance. That's Daniel and his father, David. Now, we're getting into a world that a lot of guys aren't into, probably because of expense. But I think this is what Darren Morgan mentioned, that times are changing and billet heads and intakes are going to be the norm. And that's David designing a big block billet Ford engine block. There it is all complete. What we're going to do is go through the process of doing this. It starts out with a design and that's what David does. He designs all these pieces and is the machinist for that. And you can see, I'm not sure what program this is, but you can see the block moving around. You can see the cylinders. Now these blocks come in a 4.9 or a 5.0 bore spacing, can have up to 12 inches of deck height and a 70 millimeter cam bore. The block of aluminum, which is billet, weighs 600 pounds. After they machine it, it weighs about 150 to 160. The cylinder heads, again, about 200 pounds, and by the time they machine them, they're about 45 to 48 pounds. After the block is machined, they have four 55 gallon drums of aluminum chips. So I'm gonna show you how this process works. These are some of the machining steps, kinda of, you can see that that's the side of the block. You can see here that that's the bottom where the mains would be, it looks like. And here's a picture of the back of the engine block where they have their logo. So now you can see the block set up with all the tooling for the CNC machine. It's amazing to see all those bits laying there. And that looks like the back of the block before it was CNC machined. There it is. After some of the work is done, it's amazing the way that looks.
Now here's some pictures of the fillet main caps. You can see the whole process they have. Those are before they're machined. Talk about stacks of caps. Wow. Or I should say nice, my signature phrase. So here's a gathering of some billet blocks. Now remember that these are not water jacketed blocks and these are getting ready to be sent to be heat treated. They also make billet heads. Now here's one being fitted to one of the billet big block Fords. Now they make both a Boss 429 and an A441 cylinder head. Both of them are billeted, non-water jacketed. There's a great look of the block right there. Now let's explore this billet big block Ford a little bit closer. Look at that cam tunnel. That's 70 millimeter. I think that's one of the biggest ones I've heard of. That's a beautiful looking piece of jewelry right there. Solid billet aluminum. Pretty much indestructible I would say. If it's broken, it can be fixed. It's not like cast iron. So this is the change. Things are going to billet construction for durability. Uh, the initial cost is expensive, but one time buy, hopefully you don't need to buy it again. And if you do, hopefully it's for another build. Now check this out. Now those main caps are billet aluminum, but I also saw iron billet caps. Well, maybe Daniel or his father will comment on the material that the main caps are constructed from. Case in point, these definitely look to be iron. Here's one of the short blocks going in together. Man, that is strong looking for sure. Now let's watch some CNC head work at Design Performance. Here's a great view of that billet head. Aluminum is my favorite metal. So they make both the Boss 429 style head and the A441 head. There's some of the heads sitting there. They may be getting ready to go to be heat treated. But they got quite of a selection. I love this picture. There you go. Talk about Hemi. That's a perfect view right there. There's some more comparison of the heads. The ones on this side look more like the A441 like the old Allen Root type stuff. So guys, this is just a preliminary video to kind of introduce you to design performance, their billet heads and intake. It's amazing to see behind the scenes of a father and son. On our billet head, we incorporated the rocker stand. So it's all one piece. If you want a bolt on rocker stand, you can cut this off, drill and type a hole. But we did that because we had problems with these where they would rock back and forth and eventually pull those threads out. We have fixed that problem with these. We have this on our other heads and it has seen extreme stress and done really well. They do all their head assembly at the shop. You can see guides in that box, the cylinder heads there. Here's one of the billet blocks set up with a pretty stout short block right there. All aluminum, I love that. That valley is quite a view, no pun intended. But you can see the clearance and needed for those huge push rods to clear everything. Rocker arms set up very nice. See it's an external wet sump there. Now that tunnel ram is pretty serious looking. Look at that. I know he had mentioned that they run carburetors, and I wonder if they have any fuel injection in the future. I mean, any way I look at this, this is design performance right from the get-go. So I appreciate David and Daniel for taking us a tour on this magnificent father and son business in their backyard. Yeah, there's some injection. Stay tuned to Drag Boss Garage where you're always seeing and learning something new.